So I was filming a video about cats for a different project. Don't ask me what that project is. But um, now I have this cat on the screen that I'm going to leave up for the entirety of this video. Now let's talk about FX15. Hey friends, Timmy here. Welcome back to Envio and Giz Audio. Today we have a review of the FX15 by Vio. $800 flagship IEM with EST drivers. I think four of them, if I remember correctly, that's what makes this thing expensive because EST drivers are not cheap at all. So how does this fare in the market? Should you buy it? All of those questions will be answered in today's video, but let's start off with talking about the tuning first. So the tuning of the FX15 is a very um, strange one. It's a V-shaped signature through and through, but it has the recess point or the mid-range recess in a different place than you would expect. Normally, a mid-recess is in the lower mid-range, but in the FX15, it's in the upper mid-range. Now, what this does is it makes vocals feel very far away, especially female vocals. For male vocals, it depends. If their voice is deeper, maybe you don't feel the effect as much, but if male vocals are a little bit higher in their tones, then they also feel pretty far away. Now, this being V-shaped means that it has a lot of bass and also quite a bit of treble as well. And these combinations of things create a very interesting sound signature where vocals feel like they're pretty far away, so it gives that kind of oddly wide soundstage sense. And at the same time, these bass elements and treble elements are so forward that it feels like it's just so much information being presented to you. It's strange and definitely unnatural natural sounding, but I I like it. <laughs> it's a weird feeling. Like I know it sounds unnatural, but at the same time it sounds so interesting and I've not heard any sound signature quite similar to this in any other IEMs before. I like that overwhelming sense of information being thrown at you. It really does give the Fio FX15 this kind of highly technical sound as well. And vocals being pushed back really give you that really strange sense of soundstage that you don't really experience with any other IEM. So I like it. At the same time, I don't like it. <laughs> it's a strange feeling. Now, speaking of the performance of each different section on their own now, the bass is rather good. I wouldn't say it's top tier level bass, but I would say it's really good dynamic sounding bass. The treble reveals quite a lot of nuances, not a lot in the air region. I feel like the extension could be a little bit better, but in terms of micro nuances, it displays quite a bit. Vocals sound just the strangest. Male vocals and female vocals both have this heavy warmth to them, like extra heft. So some male vocals do sound good if they benefit from that extra heft, some male vocals do. But majority of them and majority of female vocals don't really benefit from that. So even though you get that cool sound stagey feeling, vocals pretty far away, they, they all sound kind of unnatural. And another thing I want to talk about, and this one thing is kind of ridiculous, I don't like it at all, and I don't understand the um, decision making behind this. And you guys probably already know what this is because this IM has been out for a while, and that is the Fio FX15 switch. The switch turns off the EST, so kills the treble, kills the air regent, and the FX15 just sounds worse. Not only that, you pay $800 for the four ESTs, so turning off those switches basically is like turning $800 into $200. The worst possible switch implementation aside, let's talk about technical performance. And I would give this one quite high. I would say around blessing three at the minimum. Like I said, you get this overwhelming sense of information being thrown at you, a lot of micro nuances in the treble, the odd sense of this kind of weirdly wide soundstage, it's a technical sounding set. In terms of comparisons, this is where I usually compare other models of similar price to this. To be honest, there's nothing that compares to this. This is quite a unique tuning and to compare it to anything else would be kind of like, it's just so different. It's like comparing a banana to like an orange. It's, you just can't do it. For this, I would say it stands on its own. If you want to experience this, I would say go ahead and try it first, demo it first. Please do not blind buy this. It is such an odd signature that I can't wholeheartedly recommend you guys just buying this thing. Go and try it, demo it, see if it's you know a good fit for you. It's gonna be a love-hate IEM for sure because it's just that strange. But for me, I would give it like a final verdict of a yellow, I guess. I neither 
hate it a lot or love it a lot. It's like it sits in between for me. I like that it's doing something different and it oddly works, but I still, again, can't wholeheartedly recommend it. So yellow for me. Good job, Theo, for um, surprising the IM community that is um, quite hard to surprise nowadays for doing something out of the norm that actually kind of works this time. <laughs>